We are talking about the Amazon Kindle Fire and I'm going to show you how to make some changes to the settings. So after we get this turned down, we click the little circle in the top right corner there. And from here we can do various different things such as change the volume just by sliding our finger across there. And it's a little bit buggy but not too bad. Next thing we can do is we can change the brightness. We can make it brighter by going up high like that. And we can also turn the Wi-Fi on and off. And we can synchronize our data with the cloud or with our computer. And if we click on the advanced button then we can change a whole lot of other things as well. Such as we can go in and set up your account. We can go and set restrictions by turning that on. You can then type a password, and the restrictions block anybody from using the web or using Wi-Fi at all, unless they know that password. Click on the sounds. We can, again, change the volume here. I can also set up notification sounds for various different things. Click the back button to get out. We can hit the display button, and again, that shows our brightness as well as our screen timeout. The screen timeout can really help with uh, battery life. Change it to 15 minutes if you want to. And then click the back arrow again. From here, we can click on security, set a lock screen password so people can't log into it unless they know that password. It's different from using the, uh, the Wi Fi we showed earlier. It's also credential storage. You want to set a password for uploading data to the cloud, and you can set up device administrators as well. At this point, we don't have that. We can uh, set up applications and click on the settings. We can stop applications that may be running using up a lot of sp uh, storage or a lot of our processing. We can also click on the wireless network. This is the more advanced version we showed earlier. There's a Kindle keyboard. We can set a few changes as well. Auto capitalization is nice. Quick fixes corrects commonly misspelled words. And from here we can click on the device and it shows how much storage that we have. It also shows the version. We can also update from here as well by pressing that button and shows other information. And that's it.